Both managers felt they did enough to win this. In the end, they had to make do with a point. Swindon did the double over Brentford on their way to last season's playoff final, but fell behind when Charlie McDonald pounced on a mistake from Michael Rose, last season's top scorer, off the mark on eight minutes. But former Southampton and Leeds star David Protton levelled things up just before the break with his first for the club, but for both sides, that first league win remains elusive. It hasn't been a great start to the season for Andy Scott's Brentford. The Bees have lost both their league games this season and haven't won in five league outings. Swindon did the double over Brentford on the way to last season's playoff final, but they fell behind when Charlie McDonald pounced on a mistake from Michael Rose. Last season's top scorer off the mark after only eight minutes. It took Swindon a moment to regain their composure, but when they did settle down, skipper Jonathan Douglas was on hand to latch onto a loose ball. However, his effort failed to register. But former Southampton and lead star David Pratton levelled things up just before the break with his first for the club. The second half saw much of the same, bar any extra goals. Gary Alexander went close. He'll possibly feel that he could have done better. Swindon also had their chances, and they might have sneaked it in the dying moments had they not cleared their own opportunities more effectively than the Brentford defence. With the home team failing to find any momentum after their playoff final defeat last season, it was Vincent Pericard who got the better of Carly Osborne, but he just got his angles wrong. <laughs> 